Things are there to surrender because not God did not the bishop give the Holy Ghost. Did not the pastor give the Holy Ghost. Did not the deacon give the Holy Ghost. The seed only comes from the Almighty. So he who knows all about us, discern to the very intents of the heart. So in he that give the blessed Holy Ghost. So when you start to travel there, he went on, going on, going on, going on, going on. He who knows until you reach where he wants you to be. And then he allowed the Spirit of God to enter in. That does not mean you say you are perfect, that is right. The Holy Ghost come, help us to reach the standard of perfection. For we are human, and we are made up in flesh, and still we are traced and ways in us to surrender. So then, you find that when you reach where He wants you to be, then He will give you the same. Somebody might say, how does he not? Somebody have the Holy Ghost, and yet what I see, hello, 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 hello. Somebody might say, when I see somebody, yeah, the Holy Ghost, and jumping on the bottom and speaking in tongues, and yet, for our house, but in that perfection, give the Holy Ghost. Not perfection, give the Holy Ghost. So that individual still have to keep, fast, pray, study the words, and do a daily searching so that you can drop off those ways that are not right. If I was a preacher for today, I would preach you a sermon of a song that you see. Of course, that you see. I was on there. I didn't see it last night. It was a long time. I was never experienced. But in a life like this, I tell you, if it was someone else sitting on the pulpit, where would the end of the world be a cold on the ice today? Yeah. I never, Jesus Christ, I never promised no one. I never, I don't know when I'm so tired. But I know I didn't tire us. And if I give from my experience, you say, my baby shot my baby, get him to me. And he said, but I, I'm in the sunlight. I'm in sunlight. Not God for that. However, I said that I was this all in your mind and I hear the voices. Now the cause, I you stress. The woman, the woman, the woman of Samaria. She shot out of the woman. And you stress out of the stress and the woman, the woman, the woman. Okay. What happened to that woman today? What happened to the woman that was went to throw water on the way? After the person, what happens to that woman? Because she was a harlot. Alright? She was an honor of the men. And that's why Jesus said, go call your husband. He said, go away. Okay, Jesus is ready. All right. All right. So when Jesus started down to get out of her sleep, she realized who she was and who speak to her. Oh, she realized who she was and the person that speaks to her. So she ran. This 
must be the Christ. Yes. Yeah, she come right there in contact to know the Christ. So why do we ask the, the woman of some heavy and the woman? Drop you on The woman drop you on the man of God. And she, she has a hope of eternal life. That's right, that's right. She has a hope of eternal life because she was conscious to know who she was and who speaks to her. What about we now? Woman gone a long time. Hundred and hundreds of years of Christ. Christ came and hurt and gone back. Oh, but two hundred two two thousand years ago. Come to the figure that we get. And two two thousand years ago. And he was here way back. That woman struck water pot and gone. Oh, what about our water pot that we have to drop? Yeah. Uh, every one of us have a water pot to drop. And you know what the problem is? You have times that we believe we drop our water pot where we see no drop. And that's the thing. But the woman was certain because she lived it where? I did. Where? Okay. She did not know where. So she certainly knew that she did it there. Okay. She didn't run in the city with the water pump. She made sure that she dropped it, leave it right there. Right there. Well, there's a certain that she going to drop. Our water pot, we have some of our water pot to drop. Some of us are self righteous, stubborn, and all different ways in our pride. Huh? The word of God said we are not to think ourselves too highly of ourselves. That's why we need to what? To be humble at the feet of Jesus. Quite a perfect example as you study the other day. So why we are seeing of the woman drop our water pot and gone? Make sure that we drop our water pot. You don't want to try to drop our water pot for me. I'm conscious enough to drop mine. Pastor is conscious enough to drop his. The evangelist or anybody is perfect because sometimes people want to tell you drop your water pot. Every man, what it was in, examine yourself whether you are in the faith or not. Amen. When you reach the place then Paul said, you are to the one rooted and grounded and settled in the faith. Rooted, grounded. That means your little window don't pull you out. Hey, you settle. It's a personal salvation. So you don't make any little breeze blow that you said, no, no. You are rooted. That means you send down your main root. Yes. Hallelujah. And you are well settled. When you say you are not double minded. In the book of James tells us a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. When you are double minded, you don't know your own mind. And if you have some people, they feel to a Christ and peace. And when the rest of peace ready to know what Christ and peace is. And say no more soon. Are you prepared so they don't want soon pray? You do not know what you want. When you are double like you are not saved. You, your mind wave. You don't stick to one point. Amen? 
You don't have, you don't have my kind of teaching. But what I'm giving you, you can't take this. How we went there. I did not decide to say a word. I just come see what's going on. But when the Lord showed me, uh, I know what's going on. So those of you that are too many, make sure that you set up the account with the Lord. It doesn't matter how much the saints might be around you, they cannot give you the sin. They can only bear singing, praying, and asking God to do the work for you. But that seed that you are to receive is between you and God. That seed is between you and God. Over in the book of Acts tells us God who is dead. Uh, so the school teachers you can pick up. I know this is the book of Acts. God who said the art. He gives the Holy Spirit. God, so that seal is with you, that commitment, that seal for you to receive is with between you and the Almighty. No third person can come there. Pastor can't intervene. The Vines can't intervene. The Bishop can't intervene. It is between you and your mother. Praise the Lord. So as you continue in the day of worship, make sure that God do something for you. If you have no Holy Ghost, you need a, a real anointing. You don't really need that. In times very hard to you know, put a glass of water here. And by the time through our path, you see the water starts to go down. No worry, didn't come and drink anything. None didn't throw away. Praise the Lord. So God help me today that like you keep steadfast. I know the blessing is here. Don't make the water for you. The blessing is here. And if God wants to bless you and you're at the place, nobody can stop the blessing from you. Because God who gives it to see you. I know you're a people. I'm not trying to do that for you. Everything you did not hear. Everything you didn't hear. So I'm going to make sure that I tell you now, even before it's out of school, that you did not say it in here. I mean, you, uh, you might leave out in the kitchen or somewhere back there that you see it in here. So I don't know what's going on. But we have a command to do God's willing tomorrow. There is a command for the church to do tomorrow. Tomorrow and tomorrow is first Sunday fasting. It's falls in the good time. The first Sunday of every month is fasting for the congregation. So tomorrow we have a command to do and the command goes with time, not just me alone. There are others that will hide in to the command. And the command is we have to pray 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and at sunset. So that's it. We wake up at 3 in the morning. We will not be waking up at 3 o'clock. 9, 12, and sunset. So make sure, and let the Lord take over and bless you that we can get it on because that I am in control. But if the Lord does not take over, that you have to be in a body better, he will finish up with lots of times and start school in the evening. That's really interesting. So make sure that you. Um, it's this service, sunset, and then sunset you go home, 
And the dead earth said, prepare the lot, bring down the crop. You are here at little more, no more than when ten years my heart ground is coming. If you are on the compound, then make sure you go wait until everybody has to go to the bathroom at the same time that you don't be in the nine o'clock on the nine o'clock crowd is very important and the midday crowd is very important and the sunset crowd. So I'll give you earlier on or some time an announcement is being given. God bless you, people that say, I didn't hear from Christ in the day. There's no one who has any excuse to stay with me on the garments. I will stop it. I love you all and I care for all everyone. So if I did not care for everybody, so you can sit around here. Amen. So God bless you. Keep you firm and strong. Uh, yes, let me say this to you. The nearer we are to the coming of Jesus Christ, the battle will be made. Because the devil does not want no flesh to be saved. God tells us in his word, oh Jesus. Jesus himself is with the prophecy, the clear us, and I bless the Lord surely in those days. No flesh will be saved. So the nearer we are to the coming kingdom, and now the book of Revelation declares, that the struggle was born against the woman and the church. That keep the commandments of God and out to the faith of Jesus. So the devil will mar against the wedding church. Others will be going on very easy. And you say, how is it that we have to be fighting all day now and every day we have to be doing this? and be that and other people. But it's only one church the devil will fight is the waking church. The waking church that keeps the commandments of God. We will have the fight to go through the great persecution. And then we break the dark clouds. The dark clouds when God will break away the dark clouds. And when we break away the dark clouds, then God will grant unto the church his mighty power. The day is coming that we don't have to pray for the Lord. We just need them a glass of water and the idea. They can just come and come out. And they are healed. You can just say to them, we have good courage and they are healed. Amen. And in that period, the fight will be still great. Last night, I was quite yesterday in the chair. But I tell you, I don't have to wait until I come up here to hear from the Lord. I am an altar boy. So in that point, I come up here. I hear from the Lord. I can be an outside of the tree and God talk to me. But let me try to watch because spies are coming. I saw a white car last night comes up with some spies and I think they come for pride. But they were enemies. So not everybody is going to come. Where are the bishop? Along with pride. And everybody is here on the Amen. And everybody is here on the way you come. I'm going to answer you to me. For truly no work in you. You will call me and I will answer you. But I will cite the picture. Amen. So, in that everybody run, come, uh, run, come. Many will come. All right? To see what's going on. But it would understand the mighty working power of the Lord. So, brother, does that 
where we saw on the mountain not the matter the enemies that comes around we are at the place to come to rock all the works of the dead let me say this plain to you all and I love to explain very plain that people understand what I'm about. I remember one start, we were here in the day of worship. And the Lord said, go down to Missionary Fraser's house. So I knew no man on the way. And we are to go and go straight in our bedroom. And he gave us a command. It was in the side days worship. We all went and do the command. We went to the bedroom. And we do what the Lord said we are to do. All who was in that command, all up your hands, let me see. They all know that was the command when we went to a missionary phrase last Sunday. Okay, I know more than just the hands that we know. So if you were not alone, then that's you. That was the Sabbath. And, um, I believe uh, might be uh, two days at the end of not two days, I don't quite remember exactly. But one of the neighbors that was close by to her just passed off. And the person were not sick to that at the time. The person in the pair that he likes some Gravel coming down, and the other man say, "Well, no, I don't see no gravel coming down. I see gravel coming down from the sea." And lots of people will not understand the movement of God working power. If you are not there, if you are not sitting on the altar, some people you could sign everything, but you are too busy. I think you have to go to work and sometimes you're tired and you have to wash me up. You have to drink your eggs and that. But like me, that is an altar boy. If I have done something to do for myself, I have to wait. I don't know. I don't see her from the other day. But she came before me this morning. And she came back even before I interviewed her, and she came back, I saw her, I don't know what's going on. When I said, I don't know what's going on, I don't know what's going on. But you know, the other day, we had three nights of time in it. was a very terrible time. My daughter said, make up no bed. And for an old man like me, an old soldier to sit up in a chair all night, it was not so pretty, but if God said it, he will carry us through. And the Lord said that great force is moving through the land. Call the brethren now and tell them to pray. The brethren started calling in and there and everywhere. And uh, I like them that God said that they have to rise up and pray tonight. I'm not saying this to I like to that you know who God is and what he do. If you are on the mountain top, you will see. And then last week when I was thinking of going out to the country. Somebody said, Bishop, 
bless my heart of God. I just say, my God, we're in all now, we're not the Holy Ghost, we're in our God. That that's the sheep. Bless the Lord of God. The brother said, no, I want you to do it. So I take out the water and pray. And the brother said, Bishop, that night, when you, when the Lord said that, we are to rise up and pray. She said that. She awake and rise up for the pride. And that same night, somebody nearby to her died. You see, God watched over this church and you don't know how much. God watched over this little waiting church. So if you are not at the mountain, you will not see what's going on. And before I would like to superintend it for the day, but ask the congregation to stand 